Good evening. My name is Nigel Chambers. I'm from Big O Belt Media. Nikhil and Lakshia, thank you so much for the time today to talk about your new film, Kill, coming to theaters July 4th. How are you two doing today? Good, good, good. How, are How are you? I am well. I am well. Well, I'll tell you what, um, I will never, ever be on the train in India, ever. <laughs> and um, you two are clearly men of your word, because by labeling this as India's most brutal film ever, yeah, it's totally. <laughs> There's no argument there. But I am curious, though, because um, even with my reservations about getting on the train, I never looked at a train in, in such a way. So in terms of building this story and, and drawing out the action and the fight sequences, and it, because it is the main set, was there components to this environment that came as, as a surprise or useful in terms of like the weaponry or just, you know, building out everything? No, so we build the stage, we, we build the set, entire set, uh, and uh, you know the material which was used, which is used in the in the train, is exactly the same material we used in the in the set. And to keep that authenticity, um, also the fact that it's an action film, like you said, you know, there is there's so much of action and there's so many people uh, and fighting, and uh, where uh, we need to we needed to move the cameras as and when, so and. What you saw, it's it's a it's a very narrow passage. There's hardly any uh, space to move. So what we had to do is we had to make a set. Uh, Mayur Sharma, he's the he's the production designer. He made a set which was fully collapsible. You know, each and every wall was movable. So there was mm. hydraulics, there were pulleys, there were people actually pulling and pushing the wall. So everything was movable, and everything would come back in the same time. So that was uh, so. First, we we made a set which was like you know one feet long. Like like a miniature. Then we made a ten feet long set, and then finally we made a, a made a set which is like almost two coaches. So you you know so that was that was a, so there was a lot of prep and a lot of research went into it. That's amazing. I really want to see the BTS on that. Oh yes. Um, but listen, you you two made a statement with this film, and and as us martial arts fans, we stay hungry. So obviously, the next question is, what is next? And and I, and I want to kind of really bring attention to uh to, to you know the representation with this film because with this early success of this with the recent success of monkey man you know it's clear that the world needs more brown people on screen we need these stories told um what is next how do you how do you plan to use this this the success of both monkey man and this in terms of drawing out more films and then <laughs> luxia of course i gotta ask you directly Dev is right there. Is there a world where you two get on screen to make something happen? Why not? Why not? I mean, let's manifest it here on your channel. Let's do it. Let's, make it <laughs> let's do it. Is there some uh, filmmaker, courageous filmmaker out there? Please listen, hear us out. Nikhil is here. We should give him some ideas and we should start working on it as soon as, as we can. Why yes, not? why not? Why not? Yeah, sky is the limit. Yeah, you, you know, uh, with, with the killer, with Monkey Man, we realize that, you know, a film which is, uh, a story which is rooted can go can travel places. You know, it's a it's a it's a it's a rooted story, uh, but it's traveled all over the world and it's made uh, its name. So yeah, yeah, why not? Why not is all we need. That little hope and that little prayer. Hopefully, we see everybody back on screen. And as I say, so with so much importance of representation, um, and the success thus far of both of these films, we look forward to much, much more. So thank you both for the time today. And Kill comes to theater July fourth. Appreciate the time. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you so much. Thank you for talking to us. Absolutely.